What's up guys, welcome back. Now this one is the same challenge as the last video. Roll a d4 for relics, roll a d4 for curses, except this one's a lot spicier. There was a moment in this run where there was literally only one out and one relic that I could have gotten. And the amount that I got, I mean, okay, you guys saw the thumbnail and title, it's Tingsha. I'll let you guys watch the video and find out how exactly Tingsha just carried this run. Enjoy. So curses are a little bit harder on the silent. This boss relic, I mean, this Nyao bonus is not very good. I want to do boss relic. I sort of want to do boss relic. I mean, this is trash. We need blue candle. Okay, now that is a combo. Yes. All right, let's get some relics. Let's get some relics. Okay, so, can I even do Elise? Well, let's see what cards we get. Look at my dog, look at my dog. Look at Isaac. Look at Isaac. <laughs> Isaac, what you doing, buddy? What are you doing? You trying to say hello? Oh, it's close. Okay, I think a footwork. I want damage. Can I get some damage? Wait. <sighs> I want to remove a defense. Just give me some damage. Damage. So you guys have seen like the crazy front loadedness that the Silent can do. Just gotta find it. Oh, my posture. My posture was really bad right there. Damage. That guy's gonna be good for curses as well. Favorite and saddling card? I like Predator. I like Nightmare. Nightmare is my favorite card. Nightmare. Should have played footwork, maybe. I don't want to draw back into it. Yeah, I should have played footwork. Ray form's too typical. Everybody loves Ray form, right? But it's Nightmare that's cool. I really should play footwork earlier, by the way. Alright, it's not too bad. Can we get our first potion? Alright, we got a poison stab. That's damage. Am I ready for hard pour or do I want to go for an event? Alright, this is a, this is a really important decision because this decides if we do two elites or one. Hard pour or events. Well, I do want to see shrines. The events are actually horrible. These events are trash. Let's be honest, all these events are horrible except for Living Wall, Shining Light, Scrap Booze. Okay, they're pretty good events. Although, this does not really help me with the Elite. I do have Cunning Pot though. And there's a shop here. Let's do it. Now tell me, what upgrade is going to be the best thing to kill the elite? Is it dagger throw or is it poison stab? Poison stab is better for Lagavulin. Which, by the way, Lagavulin is going to be sucky. 
But we do have Cunning Pop for this fight. I don't care using both potions here. Personally. I could think about Survivor instead of Footwork, but I don't want to draw back into Footwork. Oh, shit. I right, can make a good relic. Come on. Now, does this one stack? Do, th do these even stack? All right, roll the dice. I don't even think these stack. All right, two couriers. And... I got some stuff that don't even stack, I don't think. Oh, it's the... Oh, excuse me. The... And then the next one, sorry. I, guys, overlay, my bad, my bad. Next one is... Two gambling chips. We can get a lot of twos this game. I'm very curious how gambling chip interacts here. I love Predator. Oh, now that's a doozy. Let's roll dice. Two. So many twos. I got a mango. All right, let's test out the, uh, let's test out the, the discard. Oh, sick. I can go through my whole deck on turn one. Combine this with, like, bag of prep, I can go through my deck. Wow. Incredible. That's very good. Imagine I get Sneko Eye? Sneko Eye Predator Double Gamba? Guys, this manifest Sneko Eye, please. Sneko Eye is insane here. Mm. Am I gonna be baited? Am I gonna be baited by Mashable Stab? I really want it. I shouldn't do it, right? What can I buy at the shop, by the way? Toolbox? Toolbox is really nice. I shouldn't do this. Should I just take Accuracy and hopefully get Blade Dance? I'll do it. I really shouldn't, though. Who's the boss? I didn't even check. Slime boss, huh? Is it just me? Am I have select, uh, select, uh, selective bias or whatever? Or slime boss? Just more common on this island. Definitely, uh... Some kind of bias going on, right? But... Some kind of selective... Memory. Um... I'm not even sure what the upgrade is. Is it neutralize? Selective memory confirmation bias. Frozen Eye. So here's the thing about Frozen Eye. It doesn't do shit to have more than one. I only have one draw pile. Instance Burner, however, would have been huge. Wait. Ornamental Dan. 
Oh my god, Ornamental Fan would have been disgusting. I didn't want to use poison pipe. Right. Oh no. And so it begins. I probably should use poison pipe for this fight. And so it is. I think it's actually Predator here. Predator actually saves more life, right? It's weird because you want to dash, but Predator probably saves more life. I, lo I lose three now, but I draw two. The slime boss is looking scary. Maybe not, because if I roll, it's always an out. If I roll, it's always an out, so maybe not. I mean, that's hindsight. Uh, Poison Pulse not even good against Slime Buzz. Okay. Four Tiny Chests, by the way. Let's roll. Come on, Tiny Chests. Come on, Tiny Chests. This is your time to shine. It's not often I get to shine with you. Yes. Okay. Let's try with that one. Yes, yes. Now that is something. Now Pocket Watch is kind of nutty, actually. Let's see Pocket Watch. Well, you know, it's better you don't get excited. Pocket Watch would have worked, right? Wait, you mean to tell me I don't get a treasure every question mark? <laughs> oh god. That would be cool. How did we stagger them? It would be cool if it, like somehow on the fourth room, it would just put chest back to back to back to back. I kind of want to see what happens. Uh, did we beat the slime boss? A chest with four relics? Or, like, you know how you do the double node glitch? It takes you to the next screen back to back? Like, kind of like that. We can make a mod to do that, I guess. So I didn't get a potion. I'm 70% chance. It's kind of unfortunate. Secondly... Stagger the tiny chests. Matryoshka does it stack? I believe someone's tried that before. And the answer is yes. Matryoshka does stack. 
Yeah, I know what he means. Yeah, so you remove him and stagger. I know what he means. Um, do I die to this? I'm thinking I want to upgrade Noxious Fumes or Skewer, right? However, I probably should rest so I don't die after split. But with Pocket Watch Skewer is pretty good to kind of just manage manage the split. And Noxious Fumes is pretty good here too. I can probably get away with re uh, not resting. You guys really want to rest, huh? Hear me out. We're never taking the first hit. So, the question is, 40 life versus 16 post-split. However, if I upgrade Noxious Shrimp to Skewer... Pocket Watch is helping my draws out a lot. How much does Noxious Shrimp help me? One extra poison every turn. I think Skewer is the better one. Although, that means I'm, I, I, I can die to one hit of the Grace Line. The Skewer's the better upgrade, but I die to one hit of the Grace Line. Unless he's neutralized. Uh, I probably should have upgraded. Uh, do we sure stack? The question is, do we stack poison here or post split? Yeah, but I was trying to imagine a world where, like, okay, 16 HP after I split, but I have skewer upgraded. I'm knocking him for 30. But then the small slimes are still a thing, and I don't really have AoE, so let's say there's two tiny green slimes that I didn't manage very well. And then a gray slime is attacking me. You can see a world where I'm taking 16 pretty easily. Now, I don't know how to do this. Is this poison pot? Is this post split? Is it full work so I don't see it? What do I do here? I think the poison pot is better post split, right? It's 11 damage. Well, not really, because it stacks with poison stab. Work to do the split. And this is what I envisioned. Now I envisioned this right here. Imagine Secure was upgraded. All right. Imagine Secure was upgraded, and this is what I envisioned: getting hit for 18 and having two slimes. This is exactly what I envisioned. I said, okay, 16 HP is a little bit dicey here, but let's imagine with 16 HP. Well, if Secure was upgraded, this wouldn't be a problem. First off. But secondly, this is what I didn't want to happen, like... I know you're laughing. I'm just saying, this is exactly what I envisioned. Was 18 and two little green slimes. Which is why I decided to rest, but okay. Let's see here. Yeah, but in this situation, but also skewer 
It was weird because the skewer being unupgraded mean I had a better split with poison. So it's weird. Because skewer didn't do max damage, I was able to get one more prick, uh, proc of poison. And then that also preserved pocket watch. Like little tiny things. All right, let's see here. Perfect fight. And it's like... Potion chance. No. Well, torture chance is going to be good. Because we know we're getting curses. And now we don't have an upgraded skewer or noxious zooms. I'm not going to worry with the fact that I rested. It's okay. It was an interesting decision. Like, if the draw is going to go in my favor, maybe the rest was necessary, so... This is always the worst feeling in Slave Aspire is when you rest in Act 1 and you didn't need to. It's the worst feeling in Slave Aspire. But it's all good. We know this is necessary because we're going to have curses. So we don't do D4 the botulist because that would be too crazy. But we are going to get D4 curses. Runic Pyramid. Pyramid Pocket Watch is a little bit weird, huh? A little bit sad. I think it's this philosopher's stone here. I mean, pyramid is just really good on this island. It's just really good stuff. Breaks the game. But we have expensive deck, and we have a lot of card draw. I'll do this. Alrighty, curse time. Not too bad. Alright, so we got two curses. And they're gonna be... Two... Nine. So decay... And shame. Shane loves to follow me. Potion chance was a little bit unsatisfactory. Now let's find some elites so we can get some of these black star relics. And this two tiny chests. Hey, tiny chest is here. So black star gets re really nutty really quickly. Because we got uh, this whole curse, this whole challenge going on. Uh, I wonder if Pocket Watch is better there. Probably is. It's okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get back in there. Go back in there, it's fine. I don't mind dodge and roll. I'm thinking Contra is going to be useful for curses. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe I was supposed to do like a Falcon Watch at some point. I didn't, I didn't have the damage. And you know what come, you know what that happened? Skewer wasn't upgraded. It comes back to skewer. 
It always comes back to Skewer. Now, Concentrate might be useful, but I don't have the card draw. I do have card draw, actually. With Pocket Watch Predator, I do have card draw. It might be this. This is really bad with Gamba. However, once I have Pocket Watch and Predator in play, this helps manage curses, right? I'm thinking ahead in the future. Maybe it's gonna bite me in the ass. I'm trying to be future sighted here. Okay, but okay, it's weird because Catalyst is not that good here, but it's upgraded. And Dagger Spray is pretty useful or not right now. I mean, we probably take the upgraded Catalyst. Just because it can get nutty. But it's not that great right now. Alright, let's go for Tiny Chest. Wait, what? Guys, I, I, I'm not feeling confident about this. Oh god, snake plant, floor three, and my tiny chest don't work. My spoon is too big. Oh god. Well, I got catalyst. Got that going for me. Let's see if they stagger themselves. How useless can you be, Tiny Chest? Even when you're multiples, you still... I don't have the HP for that. Guys, it all comes back. Okay, this might be worth it. Alright, roll the dice. Roll the dice. We're desperate. We're desperate. Yes! Okay, this is good. Cause, because I have... Uh... Wait, this is bad because this needs to be staggered too. This is a disaster. Guys, this is a GG. Now I have a turn where I have 20,000 energy and two cards to play. Okay. And I have Concentrate as well, which is a curse. Um, I need to upgrade cards. But the birds kill me. So here's my philosophy. If I just get to the, sh if I get to the chest, I can win this. I need to just get to the chest. Get to the loot, get to the loot. I don't want shame. Alright, big turn, big turn. Happy flower, let's go. Not bad. I used all my energy there.
Reflex is pretty good. Now I get card draw to go with the fact that I have energy. Okay. I need cards up because. Wait. I just said that I need cards all, but. Forget what I said. Oh, this is a disaster. All right, if I if all I do is catalyst and rest this game, I'm happy. It's fine. I can't even do elites. Okay. This is bad. It all started with that shop in Act 1. It's been down ever since. Alright. Maybe this can give me the relic I need. Roll the dice. Okay. We killed him by discarding my whole hand twice. This is our out. This is the out. We got saved. Oh my god, we're getting saved. Roll the dice. Roll the goddamn dice. Three panographs. All right, Toxic Egg, I don't think you're useful to roll, but it's aesthetically pleasing. It doesn't do anything, I don't think. I don't, I can't imagine a world where that actually is relevant, right? But it looks nice. End loft. Oh yeah, the gift. I can give it up for a relic. Now, deflect. It's weird because I have a lot of energy. Tingsha is dealt 132 damage for one combat. This relic does 132 damage per combat. Wow. Predator is probably better with all the happy flowers. I think this would be the deck. I didn't imagine this would become my deck. Pen of sad. 
Let me get it. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Reflex. All right. Now I don't think I can do it again. Am I overzealous? Have I gone too far? Bag of prep time. Bag of prep, please. This saved the run so hard, it's unbelievable. I have done 137 damage per combat. Let's buff those stats. All right, Feather. Let's roll for Feather. Yes. Feather and Dreamcatcher is a weird combo. What? I want to keep looking at the stats, though. This is just incredible. And what's hilarious is that this 3 HP, this 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 conundrum that we ended up in, it was so dire. Tinksha saved the run, and now I'm healing the full off Panagraph. I even think we've rested again. Oh, Toxic Egg, Toxic Egg Dreamcatcher. Oh, snap. But don't we want less cards so we hit Reflex more often? Like, I think we upgrade Reflex here. Depends on the cards, huh? Resting gives us more reflexes. Don't we want to upgrade Noxious Fumes at some point? Or are we past that? Is Noxious Fumes too small-minded? Don't, like, don't we want Skewer to be upgraded since Act 1? Or are you just thinking 4 cover Wars is pretty good? I got you baited so hard. I am so upset that I... The most useless rest of my life. You can't be dreams in this world. Dreamer. I got pendant blow. Sad as Pendip. Why did you pick to the bottom of my deck? It's kind of high.
I should have done Pendant Proc. It's okay. The first turn is going to be really good. I need back of prep. Okay, 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 okay. So calculated gambles break the game, yes. Stronger Steel does damage. Oh, it's such a weird way to think about the game here. I think it's adrenaline always. However, Stormer Steel doesn't do a lot of damage. And Stormer Steel draws the cards with Reflex. But I still think it's adrenaline, right? So we get big hands with Reflex or Stormer Steel hits Reflex. Either or. Now, if I buy tough bandages at the shop, it's GG, yes. I think adrenaline is better, though, guys. Because I'm going to have curses right now, guys. Curses. So we take Fusion Hammer always. Uh, that's kind of sad. Because I have this... Noxious streams and skewer, I'll upgrade it, but that's okay. We have toxic egg. We're probably okay with not uh, upgrade. Although, what are we gonna do at campfires? Four dream catchers is a slap in the face. So that we can draw past the curses into other cards. I think I take the sacred bark. We have three happy flowers, we have Philosopher's Stone, and Curse Time. Alright, roll the d4 time. What's it gonna be? Oh my god, alright. First one is... Three. Another shame, nine. Seven. Nine. What's seven, what's three? A doubt, a parasite, and two shames. I I, I gotta make Isaac emotes, you're right. So this is our deck now. Calculate a gamble, please. I gotta, I gotta hover these stats. Wait, Sacred Bark! Oh, it's, it's a Clash Relic. It's actually 130 damage per combat. I feel like Dodge and Roll might be useful. Wait, Periap is unironically good in this challenge, because if you get multiple Periaps and multiple Curses, that's pretty nice. We still get cursed at the end of the act three, so Perry is still nice. We only get one bar because it's a botch relic. I thought for a second it wasn't a botch relic, but it's a botch relic. And I don't do it for botch relics. Alright, mind bloom. Mind bloom. Mind bloom. Mind bloom, mind bloom, mind bloom. Oh shit. Oh my god, this is like we're moving a tumor. Wow, that feels good. That feels good.
Man. A stack of happy flower. Dude, this tink, this tink show is just like... Guys, I was at the brink of despair. 3 HP, had to fight elites. This was... I can't think of another relic that I could have gotten that would have been this... I got... Okay, guys, I got the only out. I don't think I could have won this without four Tingshas. Like, where I was? In that spot. This is so awkward. That that was actually mir miraculous. Oh, I have double bark. Oh no. Oh no. Whoops. I'm gonna need. I was gonna need that. I would have needed that. Okay, I make a note on the screen. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, one sec. Oh shit, we got back at prep. Guys, it's happening. All right, let's roll the dice. All right, this is for white beast, three white beast statues. That's crazy. That's nuts. And now for the ultimate bag of prep. Okay, I'll take it. The deck just got crazy. Oh! Alright guys, predictions. How long does it take to win the run? Now I just want tough bandages, please. Prediction time, guys. Alright, let's put something on the screen. Yo, Pog Tinny, and thanks for the fight against the subs. Welcome, guys. Alright, we were kind of curious, how does Unceasing Top work? Okay, Trixie, Silent was about to lose. I don't think you guys understand. I had 3 HP. I had to fight an elite. I had no out. And then Tinksha shows up. Just perfectly with my double gamb gambling chip. It was sort of miraculous. Unironically, I want to buy Master of Strategy. Now I'm curious, how does Kunai work? If I have three kunai, does one attack proc it? Or three attacks gives me three dexterity? Probably three attacks, three dexterity. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, imagine three... It's three for three, yeah, yeah. It'd be cool the other way, but... <laughs> so, 
What about unceasing top concentrate? No? How often do I do three attacks, guys? Let's be real. I don't really do three attacks. Yeah, uh, so we got Potion Bush last run, and it, it went all the way up to the floor. It went up over, over here. I got rid of my curses, but let me explain. Like, Catalyst is still short of a curse. And Reflexes are still short of a curse. Right? I think it's master strategy here. The question is... Is there another shop? There's an Act 4 shop. So th how does this work, guys? Unseen shop. When you have four of them... Does it draw four cards? I really need to know. Trakel said no. But Azov says yes. So who's correct? Rock Our rocket Paper Scissors right now. You're saying it procs consecutively. But it says whenever you have no cards, draw a card. And each time, each top is seeing this. So I have no cards in my hand and each top is like, oh, draw a card. So that's four cards. Trust Trail. Because look at Unceasing, uh, the way... Here, look at the way uh, Self Forming Clay worked. I took one damage and then they all lit up. Boom. 12 block. Right? It wasn't consecutive. So imagine Unceasing Top, no cards, boom, they all light up. It was consecutive? I thought it did it like, simultaneously. Yeah, it'll be more done. Oh, whatever. Ah, uh, I guess it was kind of like a little... Okay, but I, I look like it was all at once, but okay, that's cool. All right, okay. Let's remove a card, get this, and let's get out of here. Now, we're going to cash into the next shop. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, my God. Wait, I actually got to think about this, because this fight is not easy. I got to get Catalyst. Let's get Catalyst. Oh, there it is. GG. <laughs> oh, God. There it is. You know, looking back, Catalyst is a saving grace. This is this is a miraculous run. The Tingsha came from the depths of nowhere. And Catalyst was a curse at the time. But now Catalyst is my whole deck. I do this against the heart, and I win. I got to survive four turns. Well, I got to get more poison, of course, but... I mean... It's pretty good. Oh, guys, we get three potions of combat. Oh, man. That's gross. That's, 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 that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. I just can't get over Tinksha this run. Just can't get over it. Oh, look at this. A uh, brand new hand. It takes you delivered. It, it's amazing. I don't have to use any attacks. <laughs> I love it. 
Although the Tinksha was balanced out by I'm getting debated. Expected extra potions 0. 0.6. I know, but I want, I, 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 you know, suspension of dis disbelief here. Oh, that would've been nice. All right, so we gotta get Catalyst again. That's a nice sound. Thanks for the testing. Alright, how much damage per combat? 149 damage per combat. This is insane. 1600 damage, though. Oh, okay. We gotta find Catalyst, right? What better way to find Catalyst than with this? Wait, do I have like a semi-infinite? No, I'm kidding, but this is nice. This is quite nice. I might just kill him off Tinksha alone. Catalyst is just there for formality's sake. I did the order wrong. It's okay. This is actually unironically better because I get more pendant procs. It's actually secretly optimal. Except happy flowers in the wrong number. Okay, I got one proc of pendant because of the thing shut. Oh snap. Alright, roll time. I only have like a couple powers. Okay. All right, so we got Mumbai Hands. My favorite. One of my favorite relics. Which does stack. Oh. And then Ginger. Now, Ginger doesn't stack, but Ginger's cool. Backflip. Now, is it worth... Block versus Power Pot. Powerpuff gives me energy now, Muff at hand. Powerpuff gives me energy multiple hit with this. Oh, I'll do this. There's recall. Ah, we didn't get any, didn't get any good events. I mean, this is this was a competitive run until I got Ting Show. Into Curse Fountain. And very quickly became busted. Yeah, Gunship is awesome, man. Bronze skills for the heart. I don't know. However, what you should know is Tiny Chest doesn't stack, Dreamcatcher doesn't stack.
I want a catalyst, but like the guy's dead. Ah, so Chrono made things like Dreamcatcher work? Or Tiny Chest? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, it'd be cool to do this in Inspire Friends. Fix some of the coding. Alchemize. Hey. I'm not sure what I want to upgrade here. Do we have trouble with this boss? Cope Explosion would be nice. I could try to rest for Cope Explosion, that wouldn't be that great. I can imagine just Wally Plans upgrade. And uh, maybe I'll use a potion here, I don't know. Now this is my favorite interaction of the game, guys. Ready? Not this. But this. <laughs> I can just do Calculate Game Boy, actually. I want more uh I want more uh What's it called? More reflexes. Yeah, we could have balanced this in top, but more reflex is what I want. So this wasn't a hard fight. I guess when you have... How much damage? 171 damage per combat. 80 damage per turn. You're pretty good. Happy Flowers perfect. Let's get Pendip going. I mean, the rest of the run is just formality, guys, because how we got here was kind of incredible. Uh, I'm curious. Do we go for Big Catalyst? Probably. The Big Catalyst. I want this whole damn hand. Damn. You could probably split double full mulligan. Yeah, you're right. If I did double full mulligan, 
Especially if I hit reflex. Dupe the Kata. I mean, this fight should not be troublesome. Right? Now, can we kill with Calculated Gamble? It's close. Now, my question is... Um... So, this is doing 12. Uh, 24, 21, it's 45. 45 plus 10 is 55. 55 takes us there. Plus concentrate. Um, let's do this. Is Happy Flower good? It's okay. All right, what relic are we gonna get at the shop is the question. Tough bandages, please. Tough bandages, please. Oh, curse time. All right, guys, we gotta roll the dice. We're not out of the woods yet. One curse, oh, big whoop. And the curse is gonna be? The curse is... Writhe. I'm not scared of that one at all. Now we got lucky, we only got one curse there. Unlike last run where I got normality and two other curses. I don't know what I want to upgrade. It's probably just like reflex or footwork. And I'll just like do pot the footwork. And then all I gotta do is survive and we win. Alright, what does the shop have? What does it got for us? Tough bandages! It has acrobatics. I'm more excited about acrobatics. However, if we do... It's a clockwork souvenir. We can get a lot of artifacts. Thank you so much. Clockwork souvenir gives us artifacts. Okay, artifacts. Big whoop. I mean, I'll take it. Let's roll the- Oh, Bottle Tornado, let's roll the dice. Two artifacts. Alright, let's take Acrobatics. That's interesting, yeah, I wonder if we can lose more HP with this. Pierce of all seems pretty good. And a removal. Like, we remove the strike, right? Because we don't care about Writhe. I mean, I guess we can remove Writhe. And then we just catalyst the heart and win. A removal on a 40 card deck, though? Why would I remove? I could just, like, buy escape plan. Right? Move this seems nicer. Cause I don't I, I, I like to not have strikes. Alright, whatever, I'll move the card. This having no strikes is it just it makes me happy. Alright. What do we get here? Happy flowers on number two. I, if I can kill first turn, let's go for it. I wanna re-roll the 
Essence of Steel, so I'm gonna drink that. And then... I'm gonna try to kill now and get Happy Flower turn one. Incredible. Huh? Oh, that's nice for the heart. We have pantographs. I can I can take 20 damage, 30, 40, 50 damage. Let's play some powers. Make my hand free. Now I want decent top. Oh, my happy flower, though. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. All right, tough managers, come on. I got two chances. Guys, the, the irony is that I have two artifacts, but I only get one debuff. Well, okay, let's roll the dice. I got ginger and turn up. Wow. This one came, this one really wants to be here. Okay. And then hourglass. Three hourglasses. And we're done. Let's go. So what do we do by this catalyst and survive? Do you buy catalyst and try to survive? I can go for perfect, but it doesn't really matter. Not only the team should carry, guys. It was literally, I think it's the only out that I got. I think it's the only out. I was 3 HP about to fight an elite with two gambling chips and nothing else. An amazing showcase. I know I keep saying it, but it, I, I just, you know. Truly was incredible. Oh, you want to get Dupont Catalyst, yeah? Let's play Footwork first.
GG! Are we skip thorns? Oh, why did we skip thorns? I don't know. We're struggling with damage. It's tough, man. Thorns would have been really useful right about now. GG. Wow, guys. The biggest thing should carry ever. Incredible. I was resigned. I said, this runs over. 3 HP. What can I do? That's one for the books. It would have been even cooler with top bandages. GG. And yeah, that was Cybercharge's idea. I know it's like not that challenging. It could get challenging if we get really bad curses or whatever, but it was more fun than anything. So I had a blast. Thank you for the challenge suggestion, Cybercharge.